Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and customize a form on your Squarespace website. So forms are a really good feature to include on your website because not only are they good from a user experience point of view, they also make it super simple for people on your website to get in touch with you and they're also really easy to use and people know how to work their way around them. Also, did you know that forms are really good from a business point of view because they actually increase conversions? And what this means is that when you include a form on your website, you're more likely to get inquiries sent to you via that form, which in turn helps you sell more or of your products or services or offerings. So adding a form is definitely a smart move for business. All right, so now that I've told you exactly why <laughs> Squarespace forms are so awesome. Let me show you how to get started with them. So I've got a demo page created here on my website and I'm using the Raleigh template, but you can use forms in pretty much the same way no matter what template you're using for Squarespace. So once I want to add a form, I'm going to insert a content block here by doing this. Then I'm going to form and this is going to open up the form editor. So First, we're gonna start off on the build tab. So this is where we actually build and create the form. So the first step is we're gonna name it. So in this case, I'll call it demo contact page form. And you wanna make sure that you're naming your form something that's really easy for you to understand so you know how people are getting in touch with you. Um, but also, it's important to notice that when you use a form that is set up to open up in a light box, this form name here, so in the case demo contact page form, will actually show up to users on your website, so you want to make sure that it's um, you know appropriately named too. All right, now you get to select which fields you want to include on the form. So you can see that Squarespace auto-populates with certain fields, but if you don't want one, for example, maybe you don't want subject, all you have to do is just hit the delete box there. And that will confirm that you want to remove it, so yes. And then you can click the add form field, which lets you add tons more options here. So you can go through, add whichever one makes the most sense for you. Um, really simple to use. All you have to do is just click it and then there you go. And you can always rename it if you want, add a little description here. Um, and then option one or two, you can rename and see here in the checkbox option. Um, you know, Once you rename one, it can be like um, email me or uh, call me, whatever you want to do, you can see um, those are named there. Another neat thing when you're adding or editing form fields is that you can select whether or not that particular field is required. So all you do, if it is required, just click it, and that'll make sure, as you can see, that this particular form field is required or not by unselecting it. All right, then the next thing we're gonna do is move over to the storage tab. So Squarespace doesn't actually store the information submitted through the form blocks itself. So instead, you have to select and set up a storage option to ensure that the information is submitted and collected through the form and make sure that it actually goes somewhere. So once you head over here, you can see that um, there are different options. For example, we can select it to store through an email address. So maybe in my case, I want it to go to um, my business email here, or Zapier, Google Drive, MailChimp is also really popular if you have a newsletter feature set up, all these different things. And then you would just click connect there. Um, and then advanced is the last tab we're going to do. And so here we're, we can really customize the form and make sure that it looks exactly how we want. So maybe we want to change it from submit to get in touch, let's say. Uh, we can also switch up the alignment of the button, um, change the post submit message as well. So maybe thank you, expect a reply in two business days, you know, whatever you'd like there. And then you can also select here the light box mode. So in case maybe you don't want to embed the form directly on the page, but you want it to come up through a button, then all you would do here is just click en enable lightbox mode. And you see here the form has changed on the back end. And um, you can change it here. So contact us, for example. Oops. 
and if someone clicks on that then it will open the form but it doesn't take up quite so much space on the actual page itself. Alright so once all of that is done you just click apply. Oops, didn't actually <laughs> connect that storage one. Alright there we go now everything's good and apply and you can see that the form has been added and customized and it's now on the page. So now all you would do is just click save and that page is now good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button or you can even leave a comment down below if you really want to. Um, I also offer a free email course called Launch Your Best Site which is um, linked to in the description of this video and that's all about how to launch your brand new Squarespace website so super super good information there so feel free to sign up through the link below um, and you can also take a look at all the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel and read all the articles that are over on my website and here you can find content all about Squarespace SEO website design and development as well as running an online business so head over to my website, which is charlotteohara.ca, or take a look at all the other videos on my YouTube channel to get some of that information. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope that you have fun updating your Squarespace website and even play around with some forms now. Thanks again. Bye now.